This is an update video for my yellow crazy ant colony. It's a grout nest. Housed in an acrylic casing. My two queen yellow crazy ant colonies doing really well. Lots of growth. Yeah, the ants kind of the nest. It looked great, but they got really messy. Uh, the ants, well, this species in particular, they seem to put their waste in the nest. But the problem with that in an artificial setup is it can cause lots of mite infestations, mold. With the ants kind of the nest, you can't really separate the ants from a moist side, so they were putting all their waste onto the wet area. Whereas with the grout nest, I can actually hydrate the nest from any corner I like. So I'll put it, I'll always hydrate in the opposite corner to the waste section. Here's the arena. Right now I'm trialing this special nectar because in the wild ants consume nectar and this stuff is both a carbohydrate and it has proteins, vitamins, minerals, special acids. Just got the stuff today and all my colonies seem to like it. Oh yeah, I was going to say, if uh, you need a tip on how to prevent ants or reduce the risk of ants placing all their waste into the nest itself, what I do is I use a needle and I'll actually thread the protein onto the needle. Now, I'll just put that in there. So the ants can feed, but it makes it difficult for them to pull the actual carcass into the nest. It greatly reduces the risks. In a few weeks time I should be getting more queens of the yellow crazy ants. I'll try to add them to this colony. I'll do a video for you guys when I get the queens. Probably best if I had them one at a time. Just love looking at those eggs. Thank you for watching.